there is a new and open source ai code editor out there which is absolutely for free you can directly go to this link which is deep seek artifacts app and you can access this tool for free without even logging in you don't need to log in to access this tool and this is web based tool and in this video we are actually going to test this tool we are going to create three different tools and we'll see how good or how bad performance of this ai code editor is so first tool that we are going to build is a keyword research tool with gemina 2.0 the second tool that we are going to build is to, uh, domain scraper and analyzer and third is content idea generator with ai summary so i have like just created basic prompts so i'm just going to like put these prompts one by one into this tool and we'll see what it generates and i have tested it like a couple of times and uh, i was like let, let me just share it with you so let's just uh, generate first idea so let me just copy this prompt as it is from here I'm just paste it here and let's just press enter and let's see what it generates. So this is how it will generate. It will actually create code right here. Um, I, I'm not logged in. There is no account creation or anything like that. One thing that you should keep in mind, uh, responses are saved in an open data set, which is actually a hugging face uh, model. So you can simply just, uh, it's, it's a hugging face data set. So this is an open source, uh, like you can directly, these are responses are saved in here in this data set. So if you're building something very secret, so probably not best idea to use this but yeah i mean it's, it's open source so okay fine so it has created a basic tool with the uh, app.tsx file it's in typescript and index.html and app.css all right these are only three files that it has generated uh one more thing that we can do we can simply just click on open sandbox we can simply just uh, click on that and it will open this source code directly in a sandbox so in here you can simply just click on download and download this code and then next thing that you can do you can actually open this maybe in cursor or any other ai code editor so you can directly access it here so let's just test this tool uh, let's see if it if it is working or not so i asked it to like uh, create this with gemina 2.0 api key so i have actually created a let's just create a gemina 2.0 api key so i'll just use this one i'll just create an empty api key uh in ai studio.google.com just go to ai studio.google.com and you just need to like uh, uh, log in with google account and that's it uh let's just enter it here let me just add a keyword idea let's just give it uh, i don't know this 10 test let me just fetch and perfect i got all of these here so true keyword is uh dentist key search, search volume is 7720 and competition high re relevant related keywords related keyword one two three four okay uh there's a button to export let me just export that and maybe try to open it in google drive maybe i'll just open that in google drive but yeah i mean it has created a first basic tool which is a keyword research tool so next thing that we're gonna do I think I'll, okay, let me just drop this and see uh, if it has like uh, any data in this um, CSV file or not. So well, I don't think so. There is any other data. I think there is only one keyword that it has put and uh, yeah. So it hasn't created any relevant keywords. One bad thing, which is uh, if you have to know like uh, add some changings in this code so it's really hard right now i mean uh, i tried for a couple of times to like make changes in something that it has just created but uh it was not very i mean it, it did not change anything uh it in fact it actually created an empty a new project so one method that i am trying is actually by tagging a file app dot and please create 20 different keyword ideas based on our main keyword right. so let's just try to like make changes like this is one of the problems that i'm facing right now fine so <laughs> right now uh i mean you can only just create something once and then that's it i mean it then gives you code or uh, you cannot uh, do anything else like you cannot make any changings in the in the code that's the bad part uh but yeah i mean it creates uh like a, a basic uh tool uh in the first attempt and then after that you can simply just download it and then run it somewhere else let's just try to create another one uh build a script uh that okay let's just try this one and i'll just come here again i'll just uh let's just refresh it and let me just paste this here and this is let's just see what it builds so what we're building basically build a script that scripts top uh SERP results by user provided keyword or domain extract title meta description or okay perfect so and highlight if they okay fine so let's just see if it builds something based on that so yeah it, it, it will just like create code in the first attempt and that's that's what you get i mean if you have to make any other changings you can import that code in cursor maybe or uh, i don't know in some some other uh, AI code editor and make changings later on so all right i don't know uh let's just try dentist and uh 
which is not uh, metaverse let's just try metaverse and hold on let me just try digital marketing all right let's just check that well okay so this domain is not ranked but it has like created a basic as a uh, subscriber tool so again you can open this in sandbox and then uh, download that code if you want or just make a changings in directly in here um, in the code so if you want to like make any changes you can just like make these changes in here so yeah i mean uh, not too bad okay let's just try the next one let's just see if it builds something then it short summaries all right cool okay it has created a basic top 10 art articles on health recipes all right right articles okay so it has created a basic like top articles on health recipes fine so yeah sure uh it works uh it works in first attempt that's it i mean uh there is no other um functionality but it's free if you want to like build something if you don't want to like pay for bold.new or any other like open source like uh, other ai code editors so you can use this one it's uh, free you don't even need to like create an account you can directly access your code in real time uh in in your sandbox and then you can simply just download that make changes if you want to like bring that to a cursor or some other uh, code editor you can do that uh, so so yeah, i mean it, it can actually give you a good starting point so uh i think it's a uh, not a bad deal if it i mean it's, it's absolutely for free or uh, it doesn't take any time to start so you simply just need to go to this url and then start directly creating something so um yeah i think uh, this is like a basic ai code editor not very impressive uh this is a basic ai code editor you can just give it a try and i hope you like this video if you did please do not forget to subscribe this youtube channel and if you want to join our newsletter there is a link in description you can join our newsletter to stay in contact i see you next video bye bye